We're standing here on Huxkin Pan at the one kilometer mark. My name is Rudy Rick. I am the track boss for Bloodhound Project and I've been intimately involved for the last decade in creating the world's best straight line land speed track. On a more practical level, I've been in, uh, involved with the Northern Cape government, our partners, in the extended public works program in directing hundreds of people in clearing a 1.1 kilometer by 20 kilometer track for Bloodhound to run on. This has entailed removing more than 16,500 tons from the track and dispersing it elsewhere on the pan. Every time Andy enters the track through the gate, I feel literally feel the weight of Bloodhound on my shoulders. We've cleared with a fine tooth comb this year 250 meters by 16 kilometers. That's the equivalent of a dual carriage road which is in the region of 570 kilometers long. The community of Mead, which consists of five towns of Philandersbrunn, Rietfontein, Grootmeer and Kleinmeer and Lobos, have, have about 8,000 people living here, yet almost 5,000 of them are unemployed. Bloodhound's presence here has benefited the community in other ways. There's a vital water pipeline that was laid from Uscombe to this community and this project was actually pushed forward by 25 years as a result of Bloodhound's presence. This has meant that the community has had uh, access to fresh water. MTN has installed four permanent cell phone towers in the area which now means that they've got vital access to the outside world through the internet. Our partners in the Northern Cape government have rezoned uh, uh, Huckskin Pan as an outdoor arena, which means that after Bloodhound leaves, it can get used for, for other tourism related activities. You, the viewer, already have an idea of where Huckskin Pan is, but the world media coverage of this event can only benefit this, this community further through to the tourism activities that they, that they have here. Yes, Bloodhound is about inspiring the next generation of mathematicians and engineers and about pushing the, the, the boundaries of engineering. But for me personally, it's about keeping Andy and the team safe and it's about uplifting this community of people that I've grown to know over the last 10 years as some of the most hardworking and gentle souls I've ever met.